Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome to my channel, Study with Amit Singh. In our previous video, we have learned electronic fund transfer, correspondent banking, RDC, PTA, and discuss case study on every topics. We have discussed how we can switch to the KYC ML profile, what important point we need to keep in our mind while in transition period. We have discussed the activity of KYC ML analyst, transition monitoring analyst. We have discussed the K basics of KYC ML, FATF, Palermo Convention and uh, we have discussed some of the case study on every topics in today video we will discuss how money launder use non-bank financial institutions like credit card industry third party payment processor money services businesses insurance companies security broker dealers and we will discuss case study on every method so that you can understand these terms very easily but before that if you did not subscribe the channel yet then please subscribe it and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any update Let's discuss the credit card industry. Credit card accounts are not typically used in initial play, play, placement stage of money laundering because it's generally restricted to cash payment. They are more likely to be used in a layering and integration stages. The credit card industry includes credit card associations such as American Express, MasterCard, Visa, such which license member banks to issue bank cards, authorized merchants to accept those cards, or both issuing bank with the solicital uh, solicit potential customers and issue the credit cards acquiring ba banks which process the transactions for merchant who accept the credit cards third party payment processes uh, which contract with the issuing and acquiring banks to provide the payment processing services to merchant and other uh, business entities uh, typically initiating a transaction on behalf of merchants clients that do not have a direct relationship with the tpp's financial institutions for example, money launderer Josh prepay his credit card using an illicit fund that he has already introduced into the banking system, creating a credit balance on his account. Josh then requests a credit refund, which enables him to further obscure the origin of funds. This constitutes layering. Jo uh, layering. Josh then uses illicit money he placed in bank account and the credit card refund to pay for a new kitchen. Through this step, he has integrated his illicit fund into the financial system. A money launderer places his illegal fund in account at offshore bank and then access the fund using a credit and debit card associated with the offshore account. Alternatively, he smuggles the cash out of the one country into an offshore jurisdiction with lex regulatory oversight, places the cash in offshore banks and assess the illicit funds using the credit and debit cards. Let's discuss uh, third party payment process. TPPs. TPPs are generally bank customers that provide payment processing services to the merchant and other uh, business entities. They often use their commercial and bank accounts to conduct payment processing for their uh, merchant clients. Often, they are not subject to AML CFT requirements. TPPs traditionally contracted with US retailers ha that had physically location in the United States in order to help uh, collect monies owned uh, customers. These merchant transactions primarily included credit card payments, but they also covered ACH debit and creating and depositing remotely created checks, RCC and demand drafts with the expansion of internet tpps can now service a variety of domestic and international merchants including conventional retails and internet based establishment as well as the prepaid, uh, prepaid travel and internet gaming enterprises considering the expansion of service and the fact that a financial organization maintains a relationship with tpps are and not underlying the merchant it becomes difficult for the financial organization to know whose behalf it is processing a transactions. These type of transition to which a TPP is provide its payment processing services can increase the TPP vulnerability to money laundering, identity theft, uh, fraud, and other Ill illegal activities. For example, TPPs that provide a service to telemarketing uh, or gambling or online physical ca casinos and internet merchant as well as those that process RCCs for these entities might present 
a high level of risk to a financial organization because they carry a high risk for customer fraud and money laundering the example for uh, uh, example of risk post epp include multiple uh, financial organization relationships the tpp might maintain a uh, relationship at uh, multiple organizations which uh, hinders the organization's ability to know the entire customer relationship this arrangement is proposed fully by tpps engaged in suspicious activity to limit the financial organization's ability to recognize suspicious activity and exit the relationships money laundering tpps can be used by criminal to mask transaction and launder the proceed of crime one way to engage in money laundering through a tpp is, is to send funds directly to a financial organization from a uh, foreign jurisdiction through a inter, uh, international ach payment given the significant number of transaction conducted through a pps tpps this activity might not be identified high return rate from unauthorized transactions tpps engaged in suspicious activity and those being used by criminal Uh, might have a higher than average return rates related to unauthorized transactions at the merchant level the criminal merchant might have acceptable return rates compared to the percentage of tpp's total transaction volume but when compared with the individual originators the return rate will be significantly higher it is important to understand that the credit card transactions whether they conducted through a tpp's or other financial organizations do not need to be significant in amount to be considered suspicious or unusual for example there might be a high number of small dollar transactions repeat customers uh, or donors with no discernible uh, pattern and a customer who receive international donation or other payments that do not match the information provided by the customer when they describe their business or the customer's historical activities therefore it is important to have a strong cdd and edd and transaction monitoring controls to detect the suspicious activity and customer that fall outside an organization risk appetite let's discuss the money service business a money service business msb or money or value transfer service mvts as defined by ftf transmit or convert currencies these uh, businesses typically provide a currency exchange money transfer check cashing services or and uh, money order services msb laws vary by jurisdiction for example in united states fincen defines msb as any person doing business whether or not on a regular basis or an organized business concern in one or more of the following capacities which are dealers in the foreign exchange these msbs provide a currency exchange uh, services they typically operate along the international borders in airport and near communities with the population of foreign individuals check cashers cashers check uh, cashing services can be offered by retail businesses or an stand alone operations depending on the model the msb might cash check for consumers and commercial businesses in addition to check cashing these msbs might might provide additional financial services so that so their uh, customer can pay, uh, pay bills purchase money orders and transmit funds domestically and interna- internationally issuer of a travelers check or money orders the issue issuer of money orders and travelers check is responsible for the payment of items and often uses an agent to sell the negotiable items money transmitters money transmitter accept uh, currency and the fund for the purpose of transmit uh, transferring those funds electronically through a financial agencies institutions or eft network money transmitters also include the certain business model involving a money transmission dominated in a value that substitute for the currency uh, specifically convertible virtual currencies Uh, for example well known money transfer and western union moneygram paypal and coinbase provider and seller of prepaid access the provider of prepaid access 
arranged for access of access to fund or to the value of fund that have been prepared in advance these funds can be retrieved or transferred at the same uh, some point in the future through an electronic device or vehicle such as card code electronic serial number mobile identification number or personal identification number prepaid access is also referred to as a stored value prepaid access can be open loop or closed loop open loop prepaid card can be used for purchase at any merchant that accept the card issued uh, for use of on the payment network associated with the card they can also be uh, used to access the cash at any atm that connects to affiliated atm network open loop prepaid cards usually are branded with the network logo such as american express visa mastercard closed loop uh, prepaid card are typically limited to buying goods or services from the merchant using the card us postal service because the us postal uh, us postal services because the us postal service sell its own money orders it is considered to be an msp msb can be categorized into the principal or agent principals primarily provide msbs and uh, act as the issuer of money orders and traveler checks or the provider of money transfers in the united states principal msbs are required to have a written aml policies procedures and internal controls appoint a bsa officers Uh, provide education and training. Uh, training conduct independent reviews and audits and monitor transactions for suspicious activity. Agents are entities that seeks to provide MSB types uh, services in addition to their existing products and services. An agent could be a principal MSB because it offers check cashing as its uh, primary service. but an agent because it's uh, provide money uh, transmission services through a principal money transmitter msb for agent to use uh, money transmission services they may they must enter into an agent service agreement with the principal of msb an additional by product of the principal agent relationship is that it's allow a principal msbs to expand their business and reach a wider customer market without the need of uh, added added overhead agent of a principal msbs are required to follow the same state and federal regulation as a principal msb uh, like aml cft procedure and suspicious activity monitoring the example of example for uh, of uh, how msb can be used by criminal includes which are fraud in healthcare industry is rising healthcare business such as home healthcare companies might engage in fraudulent practices by presenting checks derived from fraud to check cashers that they know will not ask uh, for proof of of the pay identity will either not file or file false currency transaction reports and will not accept a report them to the government for engaging in suspicious activity the check cashier can be compromised by an employee insider and attempt to the business friendly by avoiding complying with the legal or regulatory requirement that are con- considered to be a burden to its customer the criminal obtained low cost uh, workers compensation insurance policy by uh, by grossly deflating uh, payroll accounts uh, after securing certificate of insurance organization rents and the uh, rents the certificate to other individuals and business for free because the policy are obtained fraudulently employees are not covered and are therefore left vulnerable uh, to high medical cost when they incur an on the job injury the payroll amounts are then concealing concealed by cashing checks at an msb that uh, circumvents proper bookkeeping measures the criminal makes a significant amount of money to the detriment of the workers money launder use money remitters and uh, currency exchange to make funds available to the criminal organization at a destination country in local currency the launderer or broker then sells the uh, criminal dollars to the foreign business people uh, wishing to make a legitimate purchase of goods and export it is common misconception that there is a minimum oversight of the msb industry 
in fact many msbs are overseen by the vari uh, variety of national and local regulators and often maintain compliant cft aml regulations in addition they are mentioned by the bank with which they maintain relationship however uh, the scrutiny applied to the msb can vary significantly in large part due to uh, ease with uh, which some msbs can establish their businesses additionally many msbs are small and might not have robust aml cft uh, program compared with the with their larger national counterparts for this reason one of the most important aspect of the due diligence for a bank that is establishing a relationship with a with an msb is to confirm that the msb has implemented a sufficient aml cft programs and is properly licensed or registered in the jurisdiction in which it operates let's understand the use of msbs non bank financial services such as money service business msbs provide a valuable service to facilitate remittances conduct money changing and foreign exchange support areas that are unserved underserved by banking sectors and promote financial inclusion for uh, individual who have limited access to the formal financial banking system however the cash intensive nature of banking uh, or nature of msb and the transaction nature of the relationship with the customer make this service attractive to uh, financial uh, financial criminals for moving illicit funds the anti money laundering council a amlc the philippines uh, financial intelligence unit cited msbs as a high risk in facilitating criminal proceeding in its 2021 national risk assessment particularly in the relation to the drug trafficking and child and sexual exploitation it highlighted that the uh, frequent use of cash poses a threat in concealing the source of funds and its potential associated links to the unlawful activities AMLC uh, stated followed the US dollar 81 million Bangladesh uh, bank heist in 2016 in which three MSBs including Pilgrim Services Corporation uh, facilitated the movement of money from heist via uh, remittance from the fictitious account to the casinos in the Philippines this incident drove increased scrutiny from the regulator on the risk posed by such entities and led to a more proactive supervisory stance in 2016 the financial regulator banco central philippines in its campaign to combat illegal money uh, movement msbs revoked the license of three msbs companies due to the significant violation in aml compliance among them was pilgrim its license to offer services as foreign exchange dealers money changers and remittance agent were subsequently revoked aml rules and regulations covering msb such as pilgrim have been in the play in place since 2011 in the philippines and require msbs to comply with the same requirement as bank such as risk assessment cdd and transaction monitoring the bsp and amlc have since implemented new measures to combat the risk of facilitating illegal proceed via msbs including a restructure and consolidation of the sector to strengthen its framework for aml cft compliance in the uh, philippines the fragmented nature of msb industry and its smaller size means that principal and agent often lack appropriate resources and experience and that as a result the understanding of the financial crime risk associated with the sector is, de is still developing the key take away from this case are msb must comply with the same aml requirement as bank small msb might lack resources and experience leading to the compliance issue the cash intensive and transactional nature of msbs can facilitate the money laundering and msb offers valuable service and are important to the financial inclusion the insurance industry provide the risk 
ट्रांसफर सेविंग एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट प्रोडक्ट टू द वेराइटी ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स वर्ल्ड वाइड रेंजिंग फ्रॉम इंडिविजुअल टू अ लार्ज कॉर्पोरेशन टू द गवर्नमेंट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट एक्सपेक्ट ऑफ द वे द इंश्योरेंस इंडस्ट्री ऑपरेट इज दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द बिजनेस कंडक्टेड बाई इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज इज ट्रांजेक्टेड थ्रू द इंटरमीडियज सच एज एजेंट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट ब्रोकर इंश्योरेंस इंश्योर विद सम एक्सेप्शन आर सब्जेक्ट टू ए एम एल रिक्वायरमेंट द सक्सेबिलिटी of the insurance industry to money laundering is not high as high as that other type of financial organizations for example policies for the property casualty uh, titles and health insurance typically do not offer investment features uh, cash build up the options of uh, transfer fund from one to uh, one to policy another or other means of hiding and moving money however certain sector of the insurance industry such as uh, life insurance and annuities there are uh, are a primary target of criminal who engage in a money laundering and terrorist financing in several ways the sector vulnerabilities uh, to money laundering in a similar to that of the security sector in some jurisdiction life insurance policies are even uh, viewed an investment vehicle similar to the securities according to fatf life insurance is by, uh, is by far the most attractive area of the insurance sector to the money launders substantial sums can be invested in widely available life insurance products and many features a high degree of flexibility while at the same time ensuring the non eligible rate of returns many life insurance policies are structured to pay a fixed dollar uh, account upon the death of a insured party in contrast other life insurance products such as a whole and permanent life insurance have a investment value which can create a cash value above the original investment when the policy holder cancels it such as characteristics are the considerable value to the honest policy holder but they also offer a money launderer opportunity to legitimate uh, their illicit funds furthermore the most frequent observed individual topology relate to the international transactions demonstrating the cross border reach of insurance related money laundering operations for uh, for criminals seeking to the launder funds life insurance product with no cash surrenders value are the least attractive product that features payment of the cash surrender value and opportunity to nominate uh, nominate uh, beneficiaries from the first day of the policy are the most attractive and therefore high risk the typical uh, feature of the high risk insurance products are offer the ability to fold fund and asset into the policies full or partial underlying investment under the uh, control of customers can offer the option of asset transfers can have a high high upper limit of the amount of fund held another uh, indicator of possible money laundering in the insurance industry is when a potential policy holder is more interested in the policy cancellation terms than its benefits vulnerable in the stand sectors are lack of oversight controls over the intermediaries like insurance or uh, brokers have a great deal of control and freedom uh, regarding the policies decentralized oversight over the aspect of uh, of the sales force insurance company can have uh, employees who are subject to the full control of insurance company non captive agent offer an insurance company's product but they are not employed by the insurance company they often work with the several insurance uh, companies to find the best mix of product for their clients and may uh, fall between the cracks of uh, multiple insurance companies agents who are complicit with the money launderers who might work to find the company with the weakest aml oversights sales driven objective the focus of a broker uh, is on selling the insurance product therefore they might overlook sign of the money laundering such as a lack of explanation for the wealth and unusual method for paying insurance premiums for example how money can be laundered through the insurance industry include certain insurance policies 
uh, operate in the same manner as a unit trust or mutual funds the customer can over fund the policy and move funds in uh, into and out of the policy while paying year, uh, early withdrawal penalties when the funds are reimbursed by the insurance company the launderer has successfully obscured the link between the crime and generated fund the purchase uh, and redemption of a single premium instance bond are key laundering vehicles the bonds can be purchased from insurance company and then redeemed prior to their full term of uh, the discount in such cases the balance of the fund is paid to the launderer in form of sanitized check from the insurance company <coughs> A, a free look period is a feature that allows an investor for a short period of time after the policy is signed and the premium paid to back out the policy without a penalty. This process allows the money launder to receive insurance check which uh, represent clean funds. However, as more insurance companies are subject to AML program requirement, this type of money laundering is more readily detected and reported. One indicator of the possible money laundering is when the potential policy holder is more interested in the cancellation terms of the policy than the benefit of the policies. The launderer buys a policy with the illicit fund and then tells the insurance company that he has changed his mind and does not need the policy after paying the penalties. The money launderer, uh, launderer redeems the policies and uh, receives a clean check from the respected insurer. A uh, third party that fund insurance policies, uh, not, not the policy holder, have not been subject to the regular identification processor, uh, procedure when the insurance contract was concluded. Uh, the source of fund and relationship between the policy holder and the third party might be unclear to the insurance company. Some customers actually do not seek the insurance over uh, coverage, rather it is an investment opportunity. The money laundering is enabled by using the sum, uh, sum of money to make a substantial payment into the single premium life insurance policy, which serves a wrapped into, uh, investment policies. A, a variation on this method is the use of a large premium deposit of the fund annual premiums. Such policies which are compa uh, comparable to single premium policies also enable the customer to invest substantial amount of money with the insurance company because the annual premium are paid from an account that is be that must be funded with the uh, with the total amount the life insurance product with apparently lower money laundering risk will be uh, will bear the feature of the higher risk single premium policy Let's understand security broker dealer. The security industry provide opportunity for criminal to engage in money laundering and terrorist financing anonymously uh, given the varying level of uh, AML program requirements and different type of business and high volume of transactions. The world's capital market are best in size. Dwarfing uh, deposit banking FATF has strongly recommended money laundering controls for the security field since 1992 in the conjunction with the uh, madrid based international organization of security commission a global association of uh, governmental bodies that include the community uh, futures trading commissions cftc which regulates the securities and future markets the difficulty in dealing with the money laundering in the security field is that typically little currency involved it is the industry that runs the electronically uh, transfers and papers. It used in the money laundering process is generally after launders have placed their cash in the financial system through other methods, except of uh, security industries, that increase its exposure to the money laundering. Which are international nature, the speed of transactions, uh, ability to conduct free of payment asset transfers in which securities are transferred without a corresponding transfer of fund, ease of con uh, conversion of holding to cash without significant loss of principles. 
routine uh, use of wire transfer to from and through the multiple jurisdiction competitive commission driven uh, environment which like private banking provide ample incentives to disregard the customer source of funds practice of brokerage uh, firms to uh, of maintaining securities accounts as nominee or trustees thus permitting concealment of identities of the true beneficiaries weak aml cft uh, aml programs that do not have efficient effective cdd uh, suspicious activity monitoring and other controls the illicit uh, money laundered through the security sectors can be uh, generated by illegal activities from the outside and and uh, within the sector for illegal funds originating uh, outside the sector security transaction for the out, uh, creation of legal entities can be used to conceal the obscure the source of these funds in case of illegal activity within the security market itself the transaction and manipulating generate the illegal fund that must be uh, uh, then be laundered in both cases the security sectors offer the money launder the potential uh, for a double advantage allowing them to launder uh, illegal funds and acquire additional profits money launder can occur in the security industry in customer accounts that are used only to uh, hold funds and not for the trading this allow the launder to avoid banking channel for which the launder believe that uh, there are more st uh, stringent money laundering controls other indication of money laundering are wash uh, trading and offsetting trade, uh, transactions which involve the entry of matching buys and sells in uh, particular securities creating an illusion of uh, trading wash trading uh, through multiple accounts generates the offsetting profits and losses as well as the transfer of position between accounts that do not appear to be a commonly uh, control the FATF uh, money laundering and terrorist financing in the security sector typologies report identifies of the following areas as uh, presenting the greatest money laundering vulnerabilities in the securities industry wholesale market unregulated ma fund wealth management investment fund bearer securities bill of exchange Several compliance challenges that are unique to the security sectors are variety and complexities of the securities. Securities offering uh, are broad, with some product tailored to the need of uh, single customers and other designed for the sales to the general public. Product range from the simple and almost universally known to the relatively complex and esoteric. Some uh, knowledge of underlying security is uh, typically required to address risk, high risk securities. Although almost uh, securities are assigned by legitimate companies, securities that are under regulated or established for the illegitimate processes pose risk. In the United States, uh, securities that are not traded on a regulated exchange are typically sold over the counter with tiers such as pink sheet that requires only minimal reporting these products makes uh, makes it easier to obscure information such as beneficial ownership and make it difficult to determine associations with the uh, sanctions trans uh, jurisdictions and companies securities firms are required to identify securities that might pose risk and develop poses uh, restrict trading of those securities often on dozens of platforms multiple layer and third party risk the security industry involve many participants including the financial organization and brokers dealers uh, financial advisors transfer agents uh, security lead uh, lenders custodians inter introducing brokers and sales agents they may they the many layers of intermediaries who may also cross borders make stand standardizing controls difficult and further challenge over uh, F, uh, over the compliance FATF has identified a number of suspicious indicators within the global securities market those particular relevant to the security sectors include uh, a customer with a significant history uh, with the securities from who abruptly liquidate all all of her assets 
in order to remove wealth from the jurisdiction. A customer who opens an account or purchases a product without a regard to loss commissions or other costs associated with that account or product, including early cancellations of long-term securities. A securities account that is used for the payment or ongoing wires with little no securities activity. A customer transaction that includes a pattern of sustained losses which might in indicate uh, transfer of values from one party to another. Transition in which uh, one party purchases a security at a high price and then he sells them at a considerable loss to the another party which might indicate the transfer of value from one party to another. A customer who, uh, who is unfamiliar with the financial products performance and its specification, uh, specifications must want to invest in it. Uh, nonetheless, a customer um, who is known to have friends and a family who work the security issue uh, or a trading pa a pattern that suggests he might have a non-public information. Uh, two or more unrelated accounts at a security firms that trade an illiquid or low price security or penny stocks suddenly and simultaneously. A customer who deposit uh, physical security first are in a large quantity, second are titled differently from the name of account or third do not bear restrictive legend uh, even through the history suggested that they should fourth lack sense in the term of uh, method in by which they were acquired in the united states securities and exchange commission sec and the financial industry regulatory authorities as directed by the bsa regulatory rules implement requirements for the broker dealers and both small and large regulations Uh, the, these requirements compel organization to implement AML programs that include the appointment PSA officers, CDDs, suspicious activity monitoring, training, and independent audits. They also subject broker dealers to oversight by SEC, FINRA, or both to monitor if and how, uh, and how they are complying with the AML program requirements. Weak or non existing AML CFT requirement can result in substantial monetary and criminal penalties let's understand the method of money laundering by using a securities with the case of example in 2017 the financial conduct authority fca fined Deutsche bank uh, 163 euros million uh, million euros for the lack of uh, an uh, adequate anti money laundering countering the financial uh, financing of terrorism control framework between 2012 to 15. During that time, the Deutsche Bank failed to obtain sufficient information about the customer to inform the risk assessment process and ensure effective transaction monitoring. The infraction and resulting loopholes allowed the front office of Deutsche Bank's uh, Russia-based subsidiaries, DB Moscow's, to execute more than 2,400 pairs of the uh, mirror trade between April 2012 and October 2014. The FCA identified significant deficiencies in the Deutsche Bank AML control framework. Its corporate banking and securities divisions in the UK had significant deficiencies which contributed on the successful execution of trades. And uh, the deficiencies included inadequate KYCs, and customer due diligence failure of ensure failure to ensure that the CBS front office took responsibility for its KYC obligations. <coughs> Flawed customer and counter uh, country risk rating methodologies, uh, deficiencies AML policies and procedures, inadequate AML information technology infrastructures. Lack of automated AML systems for the detecting suspicious trades, failure to provide inadequate adequate oversight of uh, uh, trade booked in the UK by traders in the non UK, uh, non UK jurisdictions. The customer of the institution of UK and Russia used a mirror, uh, mirror trade to transfer more than 6 billion US dollars from Russia. 
The funds went through the Deutsche Bank in the UK to bank account located in Cyprus, Estonia and Latvia. The orders for both sides of the mirror trades were received from by the DB Moscow which includes executed both side or transaction at the same time. Investigators determined that a customer from the Moscow and London who executed the mirror trades were connected to each other. In addition, uh, the volume and values of the securities were the same on the both side. The uh, customer was successful uh, in changing the rubles into uh, rubles into the US dollar and uh, transferring those uh, funds out of Russia. Dodge Bank should have uh, recognized this transaction and as uh, marked as a red flag for the financial crime. The inadequate uh, Dodge Bank overall CFT, AML CFT framework and governance made the fishiest uh, uh, mirror trade simple to the execute. The importance of robust AML CFT framework and testing the reliability and effectiveness cannot be overemphasized. The key takeaway from this cases are inadequate AML CFT program that allows ab uh, allow abuse of a financial system by criminals. Real estate mirror trades uh, involve the rapid transfer of fund. Uh, rapid transfer of significant sum of money uh, around the world. It is uh, uh, critical to have adequate KYC and CDD procedures in place to identify suspicious activity. Organization need to undertake the con uh, continuous risk assessment and uh, ensure controls are in the place to mitigate against existing new and emerging risk. Let's understand the method of money laundering secur uh, of security and broker dealers. In June 2020, Hong Kong Securities and the Future Commission SFC fined Gotai Junan Securities Limited uh, based on uh, Hong Kong, round of 25.2 uh, US uh, Hong Kong dollars, uh, Hong Kong million dollars for multiple internal control failure and uh, regulatory breaches of. Uh, uh, AML regulations as well as its handling of uh, third party fund transfer placing activities and late reporting of wash trades. Wash trading is, is the illegal process of buying shares of a company through a one broker while selling shares through a different brokers. Significantly, SFC uh, investigation found that uh, from the 2014 to 15, Kotai Jun failed to take reasonable step to mitigate AML CFT risk in the relation to nearly. 15,600 third party deposit and withdrawals totaling amount of 30.7 uh, billion dollars. This investigation determined that Gotai Junan did not respond to several red flags indicating that certain uh, third party fund transfers processed were uh, suspicious. This uh, resulted in a failure of monitoring the client activities. <laughs> conduct a proper scrutiny of a fund transfer and report unusual and uh, suspicious transition to the local financial intelligence unit. More than the 5,000 deposits were made by third parties into a dealer uh, dealer's client account without documenting the depositor's identity, their relationships with the account holder and the purpose of deposits. Similarly, when two deposits were made into a client account for the purpose of buying shares, the firm failed to recognize that the funding was coming from the third party. Maintaining a solid understanding of a one's uh, customer and their business operations is, is scrutinizing their activity for any discrepancies and performing KYC, CDD on uh, any related and particularly unrelated third parties are key element to the organization's AML safety programs. The regulatory uh, regulated entities are required to know the beneficial owners of their customers. It is also important to ascertain the source of wealth of fund in transactions. Kotai Junan failed to do uh, so on uh, several occasions. For the example, uh, when $28.8 million were uh, used by five clients to purchase shares of a Hong Kong listed company were deposited by the same third party in the amount that well exceeded their self-declared net worth. <coughs> the key takeaway from this case are ongoing transaction monitoring is a key component of uh, an effective AML CFT compliance program. 
share offering uh, have associated risk for the money laundering insider trading and watch trading both potential and confirmed breaches should be promptly disclosed to the relevant regulators thank you for watching the video please comment if you have any questions and suggestions if you like the video and information then please hit the like and subscribe the button uh, and subscribe the channel so that um, you don't miss any update upcoming for the upcoming videos thank you